Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. So it is still Women's History Month, so we're going to close it out with some hidden figures. Today's hidden figure is Marion Stokes, born Marion Marguerite Butler, November 25th, 1929, and died December 14th, 2012. She was a Philadelphia, Pennsylvania television producer, civil rights demonstrator, activist, librarian, and prolific archivist, especially known for single-handedly amassing hundreds of thousands of hours of television news footage spanning 35 years from 1977 until her death at age 83, at which time she operated nine properties and three storage units. Stokes's tape collection consisted of 24-7 coverage of Fox, MSNBC, CNN, C-SPAN, CNBC, and other networks, recorded on as many as eight separate VCR machines stationed throughout her house. She had a husband and children, and family outings were planned around the length of a VHS tape. Every six hours, when the tapes would be ending, Stokes and her husband would run around to the house to switch them out, even cutting short meals at restaurants to make it home to switch out the tapes in time. Now, a lot of the stuff I read about this woman talked about how this was seen as like really, really eccentric, which obviously it was, but isn't it like cool and interesting that like her husband was like down to do this with her? I just, something about that was really cool to me. He was like, all right, we're going to be switching out these tapes. Later in life, when she was not as agile, Stokes trained a helper named Frank to do the task for her. The archives ultimately grew to over 40,000 VHS tapes stacked in Stokes' home, as well as apartment units she rented for the sole purpose of storage. A librarian who briefly acted as producer of a local news show with her husband, John Stokes Jr. Stokes believed there was a lot of detail in the news at risk of disappearing forever. She began taping casually in 1977, and with the advent of 24-hour news coverage, which we now know was this sort of like 24-hour our, you know, sort of news cycle, Stokes began around-the-clock recording. She took great care to preserve her collection, operating apartments in several climate-controlled storage units filled to the brim with tapes, televisions, recorders, and later on computers. Over the decades, she recorded monumental events in American and world history, from the police bombing of MOVE in her hometown of Philadelphia to Hurricane Katrina and 9-11. In addition to recording the local news stations, Stokes recorded several major networks worldwide. Stokes personally amassed large quantities of other items. She received half a dozen daily newspapers and over 100 monthly periodicals. Stokes also purchased countless Macintosh computers since the brand's inception. At her death, 192 of the computers remained in her possession. Stokes kept the unopened items in a climate-controlled storage garage. The collection of an entire run of early Apple computers, speculated to be one of the last of its nature remaining, sold on eBay to an anonymous buyer. Stokes bequeathed her entire VHS collection to her son, Michael, with no instructions on what to do with it other than to donate it to a charity of his choice. Michael gave the collection to the Internet Archive one year after Stokes' death. Four shipping containers were required to move the collection cross-country to the Internet Archive's headquarters in San Francisco, a move which cost $16,000. It was the largest collection they had ever received. The group agreed to digitize the volumes of round-the-clock news coverage and make them available online for free, a process which is expected to cost $2 million and take 20 digitizing machines several years to complete. That's $2 million. Sorry. <laughs> the project is still active and currently underway. There have also been several documentaries done about her life recently, one of which was released through Tribeca Film Festival. I will include links to all that information in the description box. That's Marion Stokes, a really fascinating hidden figure. Good for that as always. See you guys next time. Peace.